What are your mer- most memorable birthday stories? Oh, well, it's got to be the time that my mom uh, inflated what, I mean, I, w- I must, oh, man, I must have been, I must have been like four. It's one of my earliest memories. Whoa. I was yeah. really young. Wow. But it felt like hundreds of helium balloons uh, filled our house. Like, like at the entire ceiling, it felt like to me as a small, I mean, maybe it wasn't that many if you're an adult, but it felt to me like our whole house, which was a very small, like uh, low-income housing. It's, it was in a development called Ladner Willows back at the time. I think it's changed names now. I'm not sure. But it felt like the whole house was full of balloons with, uh, with streamers down. And so it was like walking through a forest of like balloon tails and I could I could pull on them and like move them around and stuff. That's that's one of my that's one of my earliest memories and it's one of my favorite birthday memories. That's cool. For me, um for pretty much all my birthdays in high school, we used to have land parties at my parents' house. Um and I mean Nerd. we did it we did it basically <laughs> every weekend regardless, but we would go like extra hard on on birthdays. And there was one year where we we had a Halo tournament set up, and we had a whole like uh, uh, ladder and everything, and it was it was awesome. There was teams. It was it was really cool. And we had one team playing out in the garage, and one team playing in the house every time. And we had the Xboxes mm-hmm. that worked together, so that there was no screen peeking or anything. But you could hear each other yelling at each other because nice. we leave the door open. You know how that's always so works. fun. Oh, it's the greatest part. Yeah. And it ended the 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 whole tournament ended with one person with a uh, I don't remember if it was a rocket launcher or a shotgun. And I know the other person had a sword and they both came around the corner on each other and both like did their attack action at the same time. And no one was really sure exactly what happened until the board came up. So cool. House just absolutely erupted. It like, it was awesome. And then after that, we we grabbed like a bunch of lids to these big like uh, containers yeah. that we had. We went to the local skate park and it was all snowy. And we went down like the the ramps in the skate park on the lids, as if they were sleds. And nice. it was just it was just chaos. Yeah, I love it. But in like the best of ways. Man, right? you you didn't play Worms Armageddon with us at the last land night. You missed yeah, out. I... Bell, were you in that game? Yes. That was freaking crazy. I heard you guys roaring. Well, yeah. we barely know how to play because for most of us, we've either never played or it's been 20 years. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So uh, it was down to through just sheer ridiculousness because no one knows what they're doing. Sure. It was down to me and who was still playing at that point? I forget. Was it... Uh, I think it was a new lab person. One of, yeah, I think it was one of the new lab oh, people. Oh, yeah, no, I know who it was. Yeah, 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 okay. So I screwed up my finisher. Like, we just had two worms left, one each. I screwed up my finisher, and it was over. And then he screwed up his finisher. And, like, no one could believe it. <laughs> and then what, what happened on the last shot or something? Didn't I miss? But then somehow it managed to, like, kill him anyway or something like anyway there's it was, a lot of weird stuff like that it, it was amazing man and there's just <laughs> something about that atmosphere because in okay fall guys for example to a certain degree fall guys is a perfect example of a multiplayer game a party type game where as soon as you're knocked out you are completely disengaged from the game but that doesn't happen at a land because you have nowhere else to go and nothing else to do so everyone turns into spectators yeah. so when you play a seven person match i think it was seven six or seven i can't remember you play a six person match and you've got everyone who's still who's out of it going ah! just like just just exploding <laughs> when something crazy happens you can't beat that environment yeah and there, there's stuff like like one thing that i think led to the hype of that is we often had these halo lands usually they we didn't bother like hook everything up in the garage and stuff though mm-hmm. so it was all inside and usually it was on just one tv so there's a lot of screen peeking and it wasn't as serious this time we had them separated teams were apart your team was figured out way ahead of time if you made it to the finals you made it through like multiple other teams so you guys were like nice. working on strategies and stuff like it, it actually got like pretty serious it's really cool i don't know i i deeply miss that atmosphere because that's uh not a thing that is as easy to do anymore because everyone just wants to stay home i also have another birthday memory that i should probably talk about the first year that yvonne and i were together 
for my birthday, she got me. I mean, this was the moment when I had to know, know that this, this was forever. I know this one. Okay. Yeah. She bought me. Was this year one or year two? I can't remember exactly which year, but she's clearly my soulmate. She went out with me and she either, did, she, did I pay for it? Did she pay for it? It didn't matter. The point was we went out and got me for my birthday an air conditioner, a window mounted air conditioning this is unit. This the one I thought it was. This was my birthday and I'd have to check the year, but she went oh! out and bought me oh, a window mounted cool. air conditioner, Okay, helped me tear it down and helped me get started building my chiller. Yeah, which was sick. my sub zero cooler for my I guess it would have been in uh, an Optron 165 back then or something like that. It was either that or E6600 era, I can't remember. The point is any any woman who will do that for you is, you got to you got to hold on I to that. Th this must have been later. This uh, yeah, it being later makes complete sense, but I I, I thought you were talking about the case. Uh TJ07 was either was B was after Must have been after. Yeah, I can't. I can't remember the timelines. Timing. Make more sense for it to be after. I think. Did I work at NCIX yet at that time? Maybe not. No, I think Chiller's first. I yeah. think TJ07 is later because that's when I was with at NCIX. So yeah. I think TJ07 uh, TJ might be like year two or three. And the HD five five fives are very early on, but that's NCIX. So HD five five fives might have been year two. TJ07 year three, and then I mean. Can you tell that this lady like takes care of me, man? So yeah, it's pretty cool. Built put putting together, and I mean, we more took it apart than put it together. But my my first Sub Zero CPU cooler uh, was definitely a super memorable, super memorable birthday for me. That's sweet. Thanks for watching, and thanks to New for sponsoring this week's clips. You can get fifty dollars off the KQI three and thirty dollars off the KQI two kick scooters on Amazon using the links in the description below.